If you have an interview coming up for either a manager, team leader or supervisor position, you are going to have to answer interview questions that are based on people management. Those are the questions that start off with, how would you motivate your team? Tell me a time when you dealt with conflict between two team members and also what's your style of management? So within this presentation, I'm going to give you a number of people management interview questions and top scoring answers so that you are fully prepared for your interview. So make sure you stick around. The first question that I want you to prepare for is, tell me a time you dealt with a difficult employee. Now, if you have a manager or team leader interview coming up, this question is pretty much guaranteed to feature at some stage. And when you answer it, my advice is to focus on the following three areas. Number one, how you quickly identified that there was a problem. Number two, the steps you took to rectify the issue. And number three, what you did to prevent it from happening again. So let's now take a look at a brilliant answer to this common management interview question. Tell me a time you dealt with a difficult employee. And I have put there, highlighted in yellow, the three areas that I'm going to cover in my answer. Here we go. When I took over as the manager of a previous team, I immediately noticed one of the senior team members was being disruptive during team meetings. He was making unhelpful and negative comments during team discussions. I immediately spoke to him in private to ask him why he felt the need to be so negative. He stated the team had seen lots of change over the years and basically he was fed up with it. After I had listened to him, I informed him that he had a responsibility, just like the rest of the team members, to act appropriately and in line with company values. I went on to explain how change was an important part of organisational growth and that I would expect a more senior employee to act as a role model to the rest of the team. Now, to prevent it from happening again, I gave him an important project to work on that would help motivate him and help make him feel he was a part of the change process that I wanted to implement. Now, from that day on, he became a highly motivated member of the team and I always made sure his skills, his qualities and his experience were fully utilised. Now, that is a brilliant answer because, first of all, you are confident in your approach to dealing with the situation. Number two, you are taking positive steps to deal with it. And then number three, you are making sure it doesn't happen again because you are getting the team member on board. You are utilising his skills and you are motivating him. So that shows you have really strong uh, people management skills. The next question, how would you motivate your team? Now, all business owners understand the importance of hiring a manager or a team leader who can motivate their team. It's really important. If employees feel motivated, their output and their productivity increases significantly. Now, here's my example answer to assist you when answering this common people management interview question. How would you motivate your team? I would motivate my team in four ways. Firstly, I would carry out performance reviews with all staff on a periodic basis. During the review, I would get to know each team member, their strengths, their weaknesses and their career aspirations. As a manager, it is vital I get to know my team well and provide them with the necessary training to perform to a high standard in their roles. Secondly, I would set clear objectives and tasks for all team members, including providing a clear brief on where we are heading as an organisation. Thirdly, I would provide support, advice and guidance as each team member carried out their tasks. I would also ensure I praised good working practices and I would encourage everyone within the team to reach their full potential. Finally, I would hold regular team meetings and briefings where my team could discuss their concerns, any barriers that prevented them from performing well and to also identify any issues that had the potential to demotivate the team. Again, that is a very confident and positive answer that shows you have four specific steps you will follow when motivating your team. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to work through with you and you don't want to miss them because I can pretty much guarantee they will feature during your interview. But when you're ready 
If you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download my full set of 34 manager interview questions and top scoring answers. And you also get these slides as a bonus too, including the answers. The next question, how would you delegate tasks to team members? Now, delegation is a crucial part of people management. This is a common manager interview question. And within your response, focus on the following three areas. Number one, how you identify your team's strengths. Number two, how you provide a clear brief on what needs doing. And number three, how you give feedback at the end of each delegated task. Here's my suggested answer. How would you delegate tasks to team members? I would delegate by determining the task or project I needed to delegate. I would then decide which member of my team was best placed from a skills perspective to complete the task. I would then sit down with them and provide a concise and clear brief on what I expected to be achieved and by what time frame. This would also be their opportunity to ask any questions regarding the brief and the responsibilities they would have. I would then leave them alone to carry out the task and once it was completed I would provide them with feedback on their performance so they are constantly improving and developing. That's another really good answer. The next question, what's your style of management? Now if I had to answer this question during a manager or a team leader interview I would say my style is a mixture of two progressive and adaptable management styles. Now the following management styles in my opinion are the most attractive ones to hiring managers. Here's my suggested answer. What's your style of management? My style of management is a combination of visionary and transformational. I am a vision-led manager because I am always focusing on the future and the long-term objectives of the organisation. I am also looking ahead to see where my team needs to be to meet the expectations of our customers. By looking ahead, I can plan properly and make sure my team have the necessary skills and training to perform. I am a transformational manager because I am always looking to embrace change positively and I want my team to do the same. I believe change is absolutely vital in a team if it is to stay at the top of its game. If a team does not embrace change, it will soon fall behind. Now, I really like that answer because you are giving two really strong management styles, but you are also explaining why you use them within an organisation. The next question, how do you handle conflict between team members? Now, again, this is an incredibly common management interview question. Conflict in a team can sometimes be healthy, but it can also be detrimental too. Here's the best way to answer the question. How do you handle conflict between team members? Where possible, team members should be encouraged to resolve conflict themselves. Now, if the conflict came to my attention, I would make a comment to let the people concerned know that I am aware it exists and that it needs to be sorted out quickly. I would then monitor the situation and if things did not improve, I would take control. I would speak to all persons involved and establish the exact cause of the conflict. I would then facilitate the resolution of the conflict by encouraging both parties to reach a compromise and come to an amicable agreement on a way forward. If they were unwilling to do this, I would dictate what was going to happen so the conflict was resolved. Whilst conflict can sometimes be healthy, it can be detrimental to the team's morale and output if not managed, so I would make sure it was resolved as soon as possible so the team could get back to full working capacity quickly. That's another brilliant answer. Now, the next thing, make sure you click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Go through to my website, passmyinterview.com. Take a look at my 34 manager interview questions and you have the opportunity to download all of the answers. They are all brilliant answers to the same calibre as the ones I've covered today. And you also, as a bonus, get these slides as well. Don't forget to subscribe. We have nearly 400,000 people now. 400,000 subscribers on the CareerVids community and lots of you are passing your job interviews. You can connect with me on LinkedIn as well. My LinkedIn link is in the description below the video. And also give the video a like because that tells me you enjoy the content. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the best for passing your interview. Have a brilliant day.